Hello everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations and I am here to share my, um, oh my gosh, what do I even call it? My project or whatever you want to call it for Angie um, Cragwit Itty Bitty for her, her Teeny Tiny Challenge or Itty Bitty Challenge or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I had to zoom in really close because obviously this is really small. And I have a feeling a few of you have seen the purses that I made. Um, and they're just teeny tiny little purses. They obviously fit right in your hand. Um, and Angie really liked this one. So I finished it up. And this one is going to Angie for her itty bitty challenge. And on it, and like I said, I had to zoom in because this is super small. But it's got a flower on it with a button. And then the other side's the same way. It has a flower with a button. And then it's got some dangles hanging from it. And then I made an itty bitty keychain on the side. And it's got a key right there. There's a key on there. And there's a flower and just some different charms that you would put on a keychain. And this one's got a little clock. An itty bitty clock and uh, itty bitty bead, just all little itty bitty stuff. And then on the end, it says um, made with love on it with a heart. So that is the little keychain that I made to go. And you can see it's just not part of my finger um, to go along with the purse. But then I wanted to make something extra special to go inside the purse. Um, this took me over a week. I had a very hard time figuring it out, but I made an itty bitty house to go inside her itty bitty purse. And if you look, it's just the size of the tip of my finger and it is all crocheted, um, the house and the roof and the little, um, chimney. And then I also put on some windows. If you guys can see that, it's even hard for me to hold on to. I put on some little windows. And then there's even a door. So I know it may not look like much, but trust me, this was probably one of the hardest things I ever crocheted was a little bitty house. And then just to show you how small it is, it is on a button that is, mm, I don't know, it's really small. It's probably, mm, it's smaller than a dime. I know that, so um, it's just a little button, and I just think it stands up really nice on the little button. So I put it on a little button just so she could stand it up. But that is her teeny tiny house that will go in her teeny tiny or itty bitty house in her itty bitty purse. So I'm just going to put that back in there. And this, like I said, is for um, Angie's challenge. I know it's ending um, the end of this month. So, of course, I've got to get this out. Um, I've had about a million projects to catch up on. And like I said, that part took me quite a while. So that is um, for Angie's Itty Bitty Challenge. And then, of course, I have a whole bunch of other stuff for her. But one of the other things I did for her is I made her all kinds of flowers. Um, she likes to use these on those, uh, what does she call them? She makes these pieces with flower, little flower, uh, little arrangements, um, and uses them on different projects. So I just made her a whole slew of, I tried making all different kinds of flowers. Some are bigger, some are littler. Um, here's a teeny tiny one, an itty bitty one right there. I know it looks big close up, but it's really small. And just all different types of crocheted flowers I thought she could use in all of her projects. <laughs> so along with this, she'll get this. And of course, there's a bunch of other stuff that she's getting, but I'm not going to show all of that. Oh, I found a few more. I just mainly wanted to show um, my entry for her. That's it. My entry for her itty bitty. Um, challenge that she's having for her channel. I think it was for reaching 500 subbies and I know she's surpassed that by now so I will put a link in the description box below to Angie's channel. Please go check her out. Um, I think I said this in her video with the swap. She just is 
she can do just about anything and she's just amazing at everything she makes so um please go check her out and show her some love and watch some of her videos and if you're not subbed her sub to her because she does amazing work and you can also find her on um friday nights on my channel and you can also find her on maggie's channel and michelle scott's channel and she's kind of all over because she's just amazing like you know all of my wonderful friends so um i hope you like this this was something i actually created out of my head i don't have a pattern i don't know if i could make it again the next one would probably be different i did make another one as well so this is just something i came up with as i was crocheting and I think they are super sweet and I know Angie loved it so I know she's gonna like it and I really hope she likes her surprise inside um, so I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please subscribe like I said I'm live on Friday nights um, and I know that I'm usually live on Thursday nights with uh, Maggie White but she is now moving to Saturdays uh, only because of my work schedule, it's um, too late at me, too late for me at night during the week. So we have decided to for everybody to make it a little easier, and we are moving to Saturday night. So um, you can catch me on her channel, and Angie will probably be there, and Michelle Scott possibly, and you never know. It's always we always have a variety of people on there. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening and don't forget to get out there and create something and i will talk to you all soon bye for now